Hello everyone, it's Carolyn and welcome back to the fourth video of Clean Week. From the title, you might be wondering what the heck this video is about, but I invented this term, I think, of bucket list cleaning and this is all the items that I have on my cleaning to-do list, but I just never seem to get them done because everyday tasks like dishes and laundry always seem to take priority. So I am going to be checking these off all of these items that I really want to get done but just never seem to find the time to do, I thought this video would give me all the motivation I need to tackle those items and I hope that it gives the same motivation to you as well. Don't forget to head over to my friend Heather McCarthy's channel today. She is posting her fourth video for Clean Week as well. As per usual, her channel is going to be linked down in the description box. So to get started, I am going to be tackling cleaning my leather couch. My husband and I bought this big leather sofa when we purchased our home last fall and we bought it specifically because leather is so easy to clean and wipe down, but I just never seem to find the time to actually do it. So I am going to be using this new cleaner that I bought to wipe off all the spills and fingerprints that seem to be covering it and it actually took me a while so if you see me looking up it's because I'm watching Big Little Lies while I get this done. So now I'm going to be tackling my silverware drawer and this drawer is directly beneath the counter where I do most of my food prep and cooking. So the drawer and the silverware tray is filled with crumbs. Seriously, I've been meaning to do this and clean it out forever. So I'm just emptying out the drawer. I'm going to get rid of all of those plastic utensils that I get from restaurants and then clean out the drawer and the silverware tray. Next, I'm going to be tackling my dish rack and I rarely think to clean this because all I do is fill it with clean dishes to dry. But it does get a ton of watermarks and it does have some crumbs and grime on it. So I'm just going to wash it in the sink with some hot soapy water and then give it a quick polish with my stainless steel cleaner. Okay, I am moving right on to this high chair and this has been the high chair in our house ever since my son was a baby. So it has definitely seen better days. 
Although I do clean the tray table every single night with soap and water, the rest of it I am just too lazy to clean most of the time because I know it's just going to become a mess the very next day. But it has really gotten out of control lately, so it really needs a good scrubbing. So I'm just wiping down the entire base of the high chair with some all-purpose spray and a microfiber cloth and then I will give both of the tray tables a good scrubbing with hot soapy water. I'm gonna tackle my sliding glass doors and I'm gonna apologize for the lighting. It is really hard to film facing outdoors. But anyways, I am going to start by cleaning them off and then I'm going to get to what is on my bucket list. Now you saw me use this Rain-X shower door product yesterday in my bathroom deep cleaning. So I have been wanting to try it on my sliding glass door for a really long time. I think that it is just gonna help repel the water so that the outside of the glass door stays nice and clear and then I just have to focus on the fingerprints on the inside. This is really easy to use. All you have to do is spray some on a dry cloth or paper towel and wipe it in a circular motion onto your glass. Then just let it dry. You'll see a haze form and then you're going to repeat that one more time. Then all you need to take is a clean dry cloth and just buff it until your glass is crystal clear. Everyone, I would like to introduce you to my best friend, my partner in crime, my coffee pot. Seriously, we do not spend one single morning apart from each other. He has gotten me through many, many early mornings. So I really need to show my coffee pot some love and give it a good cleaning because these can grow mold. They do get germs. You want to make sure you're removing the coffee grinds and oil that are left behind. And over time, hard water minerals can build up inside the machine and you want your coffee maker working at tip top condition for when you really need it. So to get started, I'm just wiping down the outside of it with the Method Antibac and then I'm gonna use my stainless steel polish to give the stainless steel parts in the front a really good shine. Now that the outside is nice and clean, I need to clean the inside of it. So I am filling the pot with a mixture of half water and half distilled white vinegar. And then I'm gonna pour that into the machine and let it brew as if I was brewing a cup of coffee. When it's all done, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it, obviously, and then I will give the pot a really good scrubbing with hot, soapy water. Then I'll just fill it up with plain water and brew that again to rinse it out.
Okay, you guys, we are on my very last bucket list cleaning item, and I saved the biggest task for last cleaning my kids' car seats. Oh my gosh, this is just such an undertaking, but it feels so good when you finally get it done. These car seats are just a goldfish graveyard. They are a magnet for anything and everything sticky, so they were in desperate need of a really good cleaning. And when I bought these car seats, I made sure to get ones that were machine washable. So I am just wrestling with these car seats right here, trying to get the covers off. This actually took seven minutes in real life, but I have sped it up down to less than a minute for you because who wants to see me sweat wrestling with a car seat? But anyways, once I finally get these car seats off, all I'm going to do is just spray them down with some all-purpose spray and give them a really good wipe down. Once the base of the car seats are clean, I am going to put the covers in the washing machine and wash it on a gentle cycle, and then I hang them up and let them air dry overnight. Okay, so that is it for this video. The items on my bucket list are all checked off. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you found it motivating. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And don't forget to check out Heather's Clean Week video today. She's linked down in the description box. And we are both going to be back tomorrow with our very last Clean Week video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Bye!